You can't go fishing without a pole, but before that, you even need a line. But what kind do you choose? Well, we have you covered. Ray and Mandy tackled the issue of line selection on this week's Fishing Tips. Today we're going to talk a little bit about some line selection. And I know a lot of people who are kind of novice at fishing aren't sure what kind of lines to use. And I still have customers who use the old black nylon line that we used to use in the 70s and the 60s and the 80s, and it still works. There's nothing wrong with that. But the lines have gotten much more sophisticated today, much more expensive today too. But I'm going to talk a little bit about just the... Uh, the monofilament type lines and the monofilament line has been around quite a while now and there's a number of different brands not here to promote a particular brand but they go all the way from one and two pound test line which you would use on smaller fish pan fish for example perch uh, and it'll go up to a stronger test you know up to the 20 25 pound test range too they're very very sensitive they're very, very uh, hard to see in the water, so you know, theoretically it makes it harder for fish to see the distance between their, your pole and that bait, so it makes it a little easier to trick them. If you're going to fish small fish, bait fish, I would start out with four and six pound tests, something in that range. If you're going to go after the bigger fish, then you would want to start getting your line to go up a little bit higher. More inexpensive and you need to change it every year. It does have a tendency to sort of have memory, it gets a little curly at times. Very good line to start out with. So I'm gonna talk about braid. Braid in itself is highly visible. Obviously it's coarse, it's super strong. It's buoyant, which means that it floats and it's extremely, extremely sensitive. It's versatile to use for almost any species. Uh, you can use it in trolling and jigging, multiple different applications. It's a great overall line to use. We're gonna go from one extreme to the next extreme. Fluorocarbon, which is a fairly newer product that's come out in the last 15 years, uh, actually has the lowest visibility uh, and the second highest strength uh, and it's got zero buoyancy which means it's a great one if you're wanting to run uh, deep cranks or anything to get down low the line itself actually sinks and you can use it in extremely clear water lakes uh, just because it's got almost no visibility. I'm Ray Gildaw with the Nisswa Guides League and I'm Andy Eric, the Bassin Biologist. Yeah it gets confusing there's so many different options out there. There, there really really are there's like she said there's stuff that's clear that the fish really can't see there's there's darker lines that that will float it it's unbelievable and, and mm. definitely something that can really help you out. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.